we had a good time, man. His music really impacted me because one thing I realized when the camera turned off, he really was still about that life. Everything that he was rapping about, everything that he was speaking about, he still uphold that same standard, that same character, even when the camera turned off. And I'm like, man, this is this is really a genuine guy, man. Like he's not really, he's not just doing this for the entertainment. He's not just doing this for the following, for the likes, or he's not just doing this because he think he's gifted, but he's really doing this is a ministry impacting people man we had awesome conversations um it was it was just a blessing man we was even out man praying for people and and, and everything man we was out ministering praying so it was like man so even though we was out just working and shooting videos having a good time we were still doing ministry as well and that's one thing i really admire about him and his music um the music alone man stands out his sound is different um you can't catch two songs sounding the same man he has such a different and a refreshing sound he could go from melodic to just straight bars and that's one thing i admire about his music man very influential to me because i came from being a producer and a musician and i really like his his uh versatility and his diversity within his music but still able to keep and push the message so when i think of a modern revivalist yeah man i think a proud refuge because he's able to take the music and bring revival in such a modern way through social media through videography through just speaking through the timing of today when we think about revivals in the bible we we look at it a little bit different from today so when i when i think about modern revival i think you know, how can I be a revivalist in such a modern way? And I believe that Proud Refuge is doing that.